Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jack McLanner. Now, there have been a host of quite a few updates to this game that I was reading about in the dev blog. Let's go ahead and get right into it. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and check the keyboard and mouse input just to verify nothing's changed. Still teleport. Everything looks the same. You can still change your weapons with the scroll wheel. All right, let's get right into it. And slide is still control and alt. Invert camera left and right and up and down by pressing X and Y respectively. That is some new text. That is good. Make camera go slower or faster by pressing left bracket or right bracket. Speed is shown in the top right corner 5. Switch weapons with small scroll or D-pad left and right. Press left shift or left analog stick to run. Point jack towards an enemy and press R or right analog stick to lock onto them. I really like, right off the bat, there is an update to how the uh, text is. So we've still got this floating thing right next to us, that's nice. Okay, so we got our first floating tux bubble right there. And it's going to say the same thing, that we need to find the souls that escaped, but first to get out of here. Here's a chest, maybe there's something inside. I went right through that on accident. Try to break these barrels, no problem. Oh look, they, uh, they dissolve now! Oh, that is cool! The barrels dissolve now when you, uh, destroy them. No way, we've got a sigh now? I like how he's holding it the correct way, too. That is cool! But what's the animation of the sigh look like? Let's... We still have to be aware of creeps wandering around. Come here! Dude, one shot! He falls to pieces and disappears. That is awesome. Hey, we're still a we're able to be a part of this tree. That's cool. All right, I know there's some barrels over here. Let's go ahead and check these barrels. Nice. I really like how they disappear like that. That is a nice feature. All right, onward bound. Let's go ahead and kill all the guys. So how's the animation for the trees over here? That one stopped. These ones, he's going to still keep these in, or the developer is still going to keep those in, and that looks good. I can't go through that tree, but I can go through this tree. Can't go through that tree. Listen here, you. Bam! One shot, man. One shot. And you are all the way across everywhere. Target lock on this guy and blam, dude, blam. Hey, the eyeballs remain. Oh, those are the last to go. Darn it, they disappear too. Darn it, man. There's a few more tombstones that have appeared. That's awesome. So let's go over this direction. You can't climb that hill. You can get over the fence, but you can't climb the hill. Oh, I can get over here. I got around it. That's an area with these Hell Knights over here. Oh no, there's... Dude, they added something right there. That's awesome! What I'm wondering is if you can actually go right over here, and you can. I'm gonna take ownership of these barrels by destroying them. And we have skipped a portion of this. Awesome. 
Can we get back over here? We can! Um... Where am I? Oh, okay. Now I know where we're at. We've got to go over here. Can we go through this tree? Yeah, we can. We can go through this tree, too. So we're going to go across the bridge. We are going to go over here, and we're going to go ahead and get that other gate key right off the bat. Listen. Bam. In pieces, his eyeballs over there. I like the way he runs with the sigh out like that. That's cool. Just harvest all these souls, man. Just like death wants us to do. Oh, right. When I swing this, I have to wait for the stamina bar. I think that's stamina. The yellow right there. Or is it orange? I'm not entirely sure what color that is. Being colorblind and all. You guys might see it as a different color than what I see it as, but I know you gotta wait for that bar to reset so you can actually start swinging this thing again. This thing is OP as heck. Anyway, let's double check to see if our area, our favorite area to bypass things has been solved. Listen, listen, I'm not interested in you right now, and your head went way over there. I smacked you this way, and your head went all the way over there. Are there any more of you laying around? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I only want to smack you in the face. I don't want to hurt you that much. Just a smack to the face. Come on, guys. It's nothing to be afraid of. Of course, one smack to the face is how I got my pumpkin head, but that's a tale for another uh, time. We got around it. We got around it. <laughs> oh, man. That was fixed. Maybe. Can I, can I still? So how do I get back out of here then? I got myself into this mess. I got to figure out how to get myself out of this mess. Hey, did you guys notice that this boulder has a tree stuck in it? And that must be a very old boulder. Probably a fossilized tree right there. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is restart the game because I am having difficulty getting back to where we were because I done messed up. I'll be right back. Hey developers, I noticed after restarting the game and running over here, you're able to clip right through this particular part of this tree. So that might be something to look at. Yeah, developers, you're able to climb right over everything just behind this well right here. You're able to get right up and over and sneak past and get over into this area. So possibly if you're wanting everything to be in one fluid motion, you might want to go ahead and add some texture and everything, add some boulders and everything to close this off and maybe add some walls. Because that other wall works pretty darn well against me, okay? Let me tell you. I had to restart the whole thing. The whole thing. I don't know what just happened there, but that was weird. See, there's a wall here, but if you jump at just the right thing, you can see, you can, well, I was up there. How did I get up there? Oh, it was over here. So there's like an opening or something right in the wall right there. So you may want to look at that, developers, because I can still get up there or build boulders. Those things work pretty well against me. 
Not gonna lie. All right, into the cemetery gates we go. Let's find out what kind of mayhem awaits us. Wow, this thing has one heck of a range. I know there's other guys running around over here somewhere. That tree was fixed. Was this tree fixed? Yes, it was. Good. Good. Good, that one's fixed. That texture's fixed. The roots are still kind of eh. But it's okay. Everything's still under development. So we got this guy over here, and we're just going to smack him into Kingdom Come. Where are you next, enemy? I have a bone to pick with you. I'll take my exit now. Okay, wait for those things. That one still doesn't have any animation to it or anything. Smack you. Smack you and you. I don't want to get the big bag involved just yet. Let's run over to him and smack him. Oh, Jesus. Um, so, um... Ow! Don't get very close to that guy because not only is your Psy overly powerful, yeah, two hits, I was done. I was done. KO, just nothing. I'll be right back, guys. You know, I'm wondering, though, is uh, in the development process, if the, the, the block that holds the text if that's going to turn transparent so that the text is visible but that block isn't so that it looks it looks better more polished so it's just floating text we'll see yes the gun was fixed to where you can actually hit those barrels from the first shots that is awesome All right, so now it is just us and the big bad. <laughs> I did not mean to take out the skeleton, but that works. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Listen here, you. I, ha I have a serious bone to pick with you. How many shots is it going to take to kill you? Ha! You turned your back to me, and I killed you, finally. That is how long those guys should take to kill. It'd be nice to see a health meter maybe implemented some, uh, sometime during the game's development. That would make it easier to tell just how many hits something has left to take, and that's still clipping through there. Yeah, these trees are still clipping through the rock. I love the movement. So, let's go ahead and head down the stairs. Let us see if now we're able to go ahead and check out what's behind door number this way. I know there was a slight opening over here. But you can't go any direction. Which is good. So that was all fixed right there. So now we can go out this back gate. There's a nice little tree that has cropped up. Some bushes all along here. That is nice. Everything is starting to get populated, which we really like to see. Like how it's uneven textures right there. I love that. 
Can't go up there. Can't go up there. Good. Good. That's how it should be. Yeah, I can't get up there either. That's good. I like how it's split levels and everything. That is pretty cool. So I have no idea what's going to go on with that gate or if it's just going to stay shut like that. We, we'll see. Now, to get to all of our barrels right here, let us kill all of them and there's a... Tr oh, Jesus, what happened? Oh, Jesus, what happened? That, that tree is uh, is shaking. Is it supposed to be shaking itself out of the ground like that? That tree's shaking too. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. As some uh, songs say. I can't say much more than that because otherwise we might get a copyright strike and we don't want that. We're trying to be a good channel. And obey all the rules. So, okay, I slide through them and it doesn't open them. It just knocks them over. That is actually pretty cool. So anyway, let us get to the task of destroying all of these barrels. For a second, I thought I destroyed the tree, too. I was like, I did not mean to do that. Oh yeah, this thing takes a lot of energy. We gotta wait for all of that to respawn. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and use my flintlock pistol here. And kill all three of those right there, and kill that one right there. So the bullets automatically travel to your target. That is cool. So all the trees over here are twitching. Maybe they're nervous because I'm over by them. Anyway, let's get on with the show. We have to get back right through the gates. I will meet you guys over at the stairs. You guys will get there faster than I will. See you in just a moment. So, we are now at the stairs. Let's get on with the show. Let's see what else has been added. I got stuck right there on that pile of dirt right there. But that's all right. So we can cut through the grass over here, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to bypass that area. What is... Okay, so we can't... Well, we can go over this fence. Interesting. Oh, yeah, that's the fence. Oh, wait a minute here. So you can just go ahead and jump over this fence and get right back over there. That's interesting. That might not be the way you guys want it designed, guys. You're dead. Okay, there's a Hell Knight right there. Right, let's see. Get a target lock on him. Let us send our trusty hammer over there. We didn't even hit him. Hit you. Oh, hit those. Hit both of you guys again. Hey, can I have my hammer back? Or my axe? Hammer. That's a very funny looking hammer right there. I'm just going to go ahead and keep tossing my axe towards him. I don't want you getting any closer there, guy. I already know with two swings of that axe, I'm dead. I'm deader than dead. No, I don't want you to swing at me. But I don't want to die. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy that doesn't need to die. No. You are dead. Ha ha, I killed you anyway. Let's get back on with the show. We lured him all the way back to the stairs. That is a very interesting track right there. And were those his footprints right there? That was kind of cool. Hey, I said die, okay? I shot through myself to kill him. I shot through myself to kill him. That was interesting. I have not seen that before. Oh, cool. So there's a cottage up here, too. Nice. So they're adding in a village for us to go through. That is cool. That is awesome. So let's get this direction. Excuse me, sir. I don't have my sigh out. Now I do. So you're dead now. Ha ha. Only 5,000 more of you to kill.
So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, do a jump cut past me fighting all these guys to the end area over here. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Well, I would have done a quick jump cut. Well, I did, but there are two logs blocking our way now. Look at that. There are two logs blocking our way now. That is awesome. Everything is still coming together. Things are still being added into the game, but this is awesome. How did you miss? He's right there. He is right there. You're going right over his head. How are you missing? See, the gun will hit him right away. But that sigh, I don't know, man. Or no, not the sigh, the axe. That is cool. There's there's like a fire pit right here. That is awesome. And more trees being added in with some mushrooms dangling off them and stuff like that. That is awesome. So this area with these three big bads lying around, I'm going to target you. Come here. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you outside the gate. You are moving really fast. You are moving really fast. I don't want to deal with you right now. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I forgot all about that those logs were there. I'm going to kill this guy. Haha, -ha, you're dead. Let's go ahead and talk to your buddies. Oh no. So here's his buddy right here. Um, we are definitely out of... Oh, Jesus. So that hit you. So that hit him? Okay, good. Oh, this relies on magic, too. Okay, so two hits with that, and he died. And he landed in a different position than those guys do most of the time, and the eyeballs are the last item to dissolve away. Did you guys notice that? The eyeballs are always the last to dissolve away. Run, Jack, run! Let's run right back into there and take on Big Bad number three. We can defeat him. Maybe. Don't die. Whatever you do, don't die. How did you miss that? You, uh... You took a hit there. That was one heck of a hit. Let's go ahead and wait for your health to get back up there because I don't want to die if I swing at him again. You didn't hit him. I died, but no. No, I've got a bone to pick with this guy. I will be right back, everybody. I was standing right next to that zombie, and he didn't do anything to attack me or anything. He just kind of stood there. Uh, there might be a flaw with that particular animation for, or the AI for that particular enemy. How did I kill that other guy? Did I hit him with the point of the side and not even swing it at him? Wait, so if you have this out... Oh. But you don't go and kill them, though, so that's all right. We are back to our area with our nemesis, and I'll update you guys in just a moment, just as soon as we kill our art nemesis, Mr. Hell Knight number three. Okay, so we have killed our arch nemesis, Mr. Big Bad number three. So, we're going to head over to the secret area right here behind this row of trees. You can barely make it out, and I will let you guys know as soon as we are done coming back from there. We'll be right back. So I died yet again, 
So I decided that I hadn't checked any of the uh, textures in the creek bed. And there's a spot between the two boulders right here. This would be um, if you're if you're taking the creek bed this direction. These two boulders are just on the right. And there's a little spot that I was able to jump right past. I can't get out of this area, but I could get past it. So I got to restart again. If you take the creek bed this way, there are a bunch of boulders now that have appeared to prevent us from going that direction. I honestly don't know what happened over here. All I know is that it was... Let's see, I will show you guys the exact area I was at. It was right here and I had jumped and I went right between these things and I got stuck right back there. That's what happened there. And I can still kind of get out from over here. But I can get back and continue on my way. I'll update you guys in just a moment as soon as I get back from that little area that I'm not showing on camera. Hey developers, I found another way to get in here. You may want to work on this fence right here. Because I was able to jump right into the uh, area. Yes, I've got the key, but... I was able to jump right in there. Oh no. Oh, I'm not, I'm not stuck, okay. Yeah, I wanted to test that out. And I was right. I had a hunch that you could jump right in there, and I was right. Hey, developers. I was able to shoot the Hell Knight from right here, and nothing happened. He didn't get aggroed or anything, so I was able to just go ahead and kill him with a couple shots from my flintlock pistol. You may want to look at that. All right, everybody, we are finally back from the secret area. Now, let's go ahead and check out some of the other changes made to this. I'm just going to go ahead and do some jump cuts to those areas. I'll be right back. Just one moment. I don't know why that zombie was stuck on the other side of the fence. Weird. Okay, so this is one of the nicest changes yet. Remember where they were building that wall? Well, there's a cottage right here placed right alongside that wall. That is cool. So we're going to go ahead and continue on this path. There was something going on down this direction. I can't quite remember. Oh, yeah, there was a statue at the, under, at the other end of this. I want to see what's going on down there. See you guys in just a moment. So here's another part of the village, guys. There is a Hell Knight right there, and we need to kill him. Let's see how this fight goes. I got two shots off at him while his back was still turned. Now we just have to hurry up and back up, because this is not a guy you want to fight head on. You want to take this guy out from a distance, because these guys are tough. I'm not going to guarantee that you're going to hit him with every shot which he should because he's like right in front of you but i always like to try and lure them away from the area while you wait for your magic to regenerate because it's nicer waiting for the magic to regenerate while you're attacking them to just keep luring them away from their area and this is nice i really love how this is staying with the same art style that everything else is staying with but here's the thing I can see right through this house right there you can see through the roof that's not good I can't see through that one's roof but I can on the other one now up ahead is this no it was the tree of life that's what it was this one had the tree of life that was at the end of this path so what's going to happen in this area? Is this going to be a nice little boss area or what? Looks like you can get down there. I can't English. Looks like you can get down there. I don't want to end up down there. 
But you can. I think. I'm not going to try it. So let's take this other winding path. Now, the this is the path that winds around. The path that wraps around to circle back right over here. I'm going to take the long way around so I can see what's what kind of changes are over there. So we'll be right back, guys. So this was an empty area right here. It looks like they added a, a stump that's just kind of floating in the air. We're still defying gravity, guys. Still defying gravity. But they're filling in this area with some nice textures and stuff, though, too. A lot of trees have been filled in. But what, pray tell, is going to be over here? But the lamps have been set back down where they're supposed to go, though. Dude, there was an avalanche right here. Well, not avalanche. There was a rock slide. A mudslide. That's what it was. It was a mudslide that came through this area and separated it. I know there was somewhere up here. There was a spot that was a nice shortcut that we took the last time. It looks like that's gone. But there is a cottage that has been built as well over here. That's pretty cool. So over that, over that way is the path to the Tree of Life. And over this way is going to be... What happened to the tower? Oh, there it is. Way up there. You can see it. Okay, good. Good, good. What is over here? Hey, look. We found something. I have no idea where this leads. So I don't know if this is an area we're supposed to go through or not, but I'm here anyway, because I'm curious to see what all this stuff is. But it's a whole lot of nothing, so maybe uh, it's just going to be nothing. Maybe there's going to be some boulders right here blocking the way. Or maybe something secret is going to appear over there too. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll all find out together. So this is the pathway that's going to lead us to that tower. Now, I've already gone ahead and killed some of the enemies that popped up over here. It looks like somebody lost a cart right there, too. But we're, st we're still seeing stuff in the works, too. There's been a lot that's been filled in as far as textures and stuff like that and enemies respawning and stuff like that. This Psy is way overpowered, but I like it. It's about time I'm able to use my weapon of choice in most, most games that have a Psy. And if you uh, guys have seen the Victor Vron series, that was my main weapon in that series too. Let's get on with the show, shall we? We can still see there's more texture and stuff like that. Everything's starting to look more polished and everything we're still not sure what's gonna sit down in this area but there's still some new textures around there we are in the home stretch on our way to the final tower so apparently the tower is gonna be where you end the level which really makes sense if you think about it. But that's right around the corner. It looks like there's no enemies right over here yet. But I have a feeling in the plan for the uh, development, I have a feeling that more enemies will be spawning over here. What I'm thinking is maybe there's going to be a soul requirement because you are here to collect a bunch of different souls for, for the Reaper, you know, because you made a deal with the Reaper and you made a deal that you the devil could not take your soul. So my train of thought is that the Reaper, the uh, ability to move on from this point will depend on how many souls you have collected. And I have a feeling that what you're going to need to do is you are going to need to collect all of the souls in the mission 
before you can move on to finish the level, which definitely makes quite a bit of sense. But as we have reached the end point of this game, we are going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you liked what you saw from the gameplay, take a look at the description below because there is a link to the game where you can I there is a link to the itch.io page where we found the game. So you guys can go ahead and check it out or support the developer. Now you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you liked what you saw from this video, you can stay tuned for lots more content. We upload a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Friday upload has been way out of whack lately, but we're working on getting a handle on it. So thank you guys very much for watching. We hope to see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. And we are going to jump off and see if we die. Nope. We don't die, but we end up right back at the start. Wait a minute. So you can jump off this and keep climbing and doing it over and over again? Oh, that is fantastic. That is entertainment for us. Get back up. But what happens if you jump off and go behind door number this way? Where do you end up? Okay, so I am, uh, I have no idea what happened. I am just sliding along. I have no idea what happened, but we are in an area I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to be in. You guys have yourselves a fantastic day. We are going to try and figure out how to get out of this mess. See you guys in the next video. Take it easy. 